So, if you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of these laying around the house. Effects pedals, right? Which guitar player doesn't? Or a studio musician, whatever. So, I'm going to show you in this video a cool hack that you can do to use these pedals as hardware inserts inside Pro Tools and you can apply this processing to tracks when you're mixing, okay? So the first thing we need, we need a, a couple of things to make this happen. One of them is this, or a box like this, a reamp box. So here I have the radial reamp X amp, and what this box does is it takes a line level signal and converts it to an instrument level signal so I can interface it with either an amplifier or an effects pedal. And then once we come out of the effects pedals, I'm running into a radial D2 direct box. Uh, and I'm running that then into this manly force on my returns, okay? So we all know that the insert slots in the mixer of your DAW can be used for inserting plugins, right? So we can get some processing happening on tracks. But most DAWs also offer the feature of including hardware inserts as kind of like a plug-in, I guess. So it's basically taking an external piece of gear, whether it's a rack piece of gear or a good old effects pedal like this, which we're going to show you, and using that like a plug-in. So this hardware insert is going to use an output on your audio interface, or if you're doing it in stereo, it's going to be two outputs, obviously, and then it will return on an input or two inputs if you're in stereo. Whoa! Mind blown. So. How do we make this happen in Pro Tools? Well, let's go over to the I.O. window and let's take a look. And you can see here I have my inputs, my outputs, my buses set up, and then there's this tab called Insert. So this is where our hardware insert takes place. Okay, so you can see that this window shows me all of the routing for using hardware inserts. And that's going to inform where I have things patched or plugged into. So I'm going to be using insert 9 and 10 because uh, we will do a stereo example. But first off, I'm going to show you uh, this guy, the Electroharmonics Platform Compressor. This is actually a stereo device, but we're going to do it in, run it in mono first. And it's a compressor that has a drive circuit in it, and it sounds really good. And I would not hesitate to use it actually in a, in a mix in this configuration, uh, especially if I didn't have another outboard compressor to use. So um, definitely check it out at AmericanMusical.com. Uh, so I'm going get to get all of this wired up. So I am back, have this all cabled up now. Uh, again, the reamp box, which converts our line level signal to instrument level, so I can use it with the platform compressor. Uh, and I'm running a mono drum loop that was recorded with one microphone. So once I have everything cabled up and I want to create an instance of this hardware insert, I'm going to click on the drop down menu for the first insert slot. Normally I'd be going into plugin if I was going to use a, a software insert, but since we're using hardware insert, we're going to go down to I.O. And then insert 9 is the one that I want. Just click, and there we go. So I'm going to take you through some of the features of the compressor as you're listening to this demo. We have a compressor mode, a limiter mode, we also have a drive uh, section in here, and then there's a swell section which on drums yields some interesting results, but overall this pedal sounds really great, so I think you're going to dig it. So let's check it out without further ado. For this next example, I'm basically going to use a dual mono drum loop. I've taken that same loop, 
and copied it onto the other side of a stereo track. And I'm going to incorporate the Earthquaker Devices Pyramids Flanger. This is another fantastic sounding pedal that sounds great on guitars and basses, but also yields some really interesting results on drums, which you're going to hear right now. So give me a second, I'll patch it up, and let's check it out. So I'm back, I have this all plugged in and patched up, ready to go. Uh, one other thing that I would like to point out is that with the Reamp XAMP, this particular box has two outputs. It has an out, direct out A, and then an isolated out B, which allows you, uh, if you're using this in a reamp situation, allows you to go out to two different guitar amplifiers. Uh, here, I'm actually taking both of those outputs and I'm running them into the stereo inputs of the pyramids. And then the flanger is going to add a really nice dimension to our sound and really kind of spread it across the stereo field. I'm also going to demonstrate the effect of the phase invert button on the reamp XAMP. Typically that button would be employed as like a problem solver in a recording situation. If you were reamping and using two amps at the same time, maybe one amp is wired out of phase from the other one, you can use that to flip the polarity on the, uh, on the isolated out B so that you, know, you have both your signals in phase and you don't have any problems with cancellation, right? In this situation, because we're using the flanger and that flanger is, is manipulating the phase of the signal to create its effect, by using the phase invert button, I can actually get an interesting uh, result that is still going to be reasonably compatible when I collapse that down to mono, if I have to do that. So let's check it out. So pretty crazy, right? You can get some unique results by utilizing guitar effects as inserts inside of your DAW. It's a great idea for mixing and it allows you to repurpose some of your effects and get a little more mileage out of them and out of those hard-earned dollars that you spent on them. So if you're interested in finding out more information about the Radial Reamp XAMP or the Electroharmonics Platform Compressor or the Earthquaker Devices Pyramids Flanger, head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Please also like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.